Hey everybody, your cruise host Jason here, and here we are on the third sailing of the ultimate disco cruise. So strap on those boogie shoes and get ready to relive the greatest dance party at sea. Shake your groove. dancing cruise ever. I grew up in the disco era. Start Mr. Live has really put on one of the best disco cruises ever. We're like two kids in a candy store. We can't wait to dance and, and, party. and party. And see old friends from previous cruises. Yeah. Because it's one big family out here. In the late 70s, we were big disco lovers. Um, since I'm from New York, I remember Studio 54 and all the glam, Donna Summers, Cool in the Gang. It's been two years since we last sailed together, so the second we boarded the ship, we were ready to celebrate the good times. Amazing. We're already energized and pumped up. It's so incredible. And then that horn blows and we're just like, woo! <laughs> it's just such a good vibe. Everybody's positive, happy. We've gone back into a time warp of the 70s and we're all reliving our youth. Let's all celebrate and have a good time. I want to see Evelyn and I want to see uh, Cool and the gang, and we just can't wait. And we're just, we want to see the new nightclub you have open, Studio 55. We're going to go there tonight. We're going to hustle. Oh, I love Casey and the Sunshine Band. I can't wait to see them. Evelyn Champagne, Evelyn, right. she is awesome. Our 2022 main stage shows featured incredible live performances that got us all on our feet. I was so excited on the fact that I heard that the Jackson was going to be on the ultimate cruise, I just couldn't contain myself. So I just simply had to pay my money, get in there, and, and simply see the Jackson. So I'm so looking forward to seeing the Jacksons. Every performer, they were excellent, 100%, not a disappointment, and as a result, look forward to doing this thing again. I love to re relive the memories of when I was young and all those artists we are seeing now. Those were my childhood memories uh, when I was 17 or 19 years old.
Our hottest acts lit up every venue, day and night, with incredible shows. was off the chain. She was incredible. This was an explosive concert. Always glad to see Evelyn, I'm telling you. Sailing and performing on the Star Vista Cruise is amazing. Every time I do it, it's a lot of fun. You get to meet so many different fans, people, and just watch everybody have a good time. It's, it brings me back to like what we used to have. So it's like a reminiscing thing. Thelma was awesome. Her Motown, her songs she sings are just amazing. She's got such an incredible voice. It was just a, a joy to watch her perform. The 24 hour entertainment, that is what makes this so different. It's it, just the entertainment. It, it's nonstop energy. I mean, you got to sleep the week before and get your rest because you're going to go nonstop once you get here. when I looked at the list and I saw them on it, I got really excited. Me and my friends listen to this music a bunch and hearing some reggae on this disco cruise is exactly what we needed. Great to be on the cruise again uh, after two years of uh, the experience that we all had with COVID. And uh, I was looking very forward to it. And we love all of our tribute artists that bring our favorite dance music to life. Everything and everyone so far has been great. Even um, the the concerts on the pool deck. I am no better than either of you. We all the same. What the other way to? You love me, you hate me, you know me.
Ruby Band was unbelievable. Her voice is so like hers, and what a beautiful woman. Very inspiring to see something like that. Ranier Martin, I think, oh, love her, as, as an actual performer, she is amazing. Yeah. And we watched her last year, and we were so, so glad that she was on this year. She yeah. was amazing. She's a reincarnation She's just... of Donna Summer. An absolute reincarnation. Part of what I do is to bring joy to people and I think the response that I get from them is that they enjoy it so much because I take them back to the days of Studio 54. So I love doing what I do. I wouldn't trade it for anything. like 40 different concerts in one cruise. You have the amazing groups. You have the Spinners, Rose Royce, Casey and the Sunshine Band. Oh my God, can I go on? And that's what you see here on the Disco Cruise. You see amazing, amazing talent. The thing that's amazing about this cruise is that the backup bands, UGO, are excellent. The Urban Guerrilla Orchestra that backed up all the other bands. Such amazing professional studio musicians. Every Star Vista Live cruise I've been on has been so perfect and they just do a lot of planning. We got to know these unbelievable artists at all of our different events, including our Q&As and All Access Pass interviews. No, if the Spinners had their way, Rubber Band Man would not have been released. That wasn't a song uh, that they were crazy about at all. Felipe didn't like it, and I think, um, I think Bobby was a little pissed about it too, yeah. What the hell is Rubber Band Man? <laughs> kind of group do you think we is? <laughs> of course, I asked the obvious question, well, how do you guys feel about now? And they're like, hey, y'all, prepare yourself. <laughs> yeah. So, so you, you just never know. You never know. When we were at Woodstock, we were knee deep in mud, and, and, and all the, uh, the crew, they was on acid and shit, and they were just messing up. So we were supposed to go on at 10 at night. Then at 3 o'clock in the morning, it's like, hey, you're on. I, I said, oh, shit. So we go out there. There's a half a million people laying in the damn sleeping bags, you know? And, but Sly, he was so dynamic, you know, that when he started going, they all jumped up and they lit each other sometimes. They lit a match or whatever. At the end of the day, it came out great. When we were through, it was light out. It's wonderful to hear them talk about the history of music, not just, you know, I'm here, these are my songs. They gave a whole overview of what was going on in their lives, bringing up to the moment of having those hits. Well, the record company at first, RCA was saying, well, the name Evelyn King sounds old. Okay. What? Then when you put champagne in there, they were confused uh, because my mom, dad, and the producer uh, agreed to champagne. It just made a statement, you know? And the fans loved it. But when I went on the road and came back and the I'm In Love album came out, Champagne was gone. What? And I went, I I went ballistic on yeah. the record company. I said, I'm old enough now and my name is Champagne because the fans want my name, Evelyn Champagne King. So I put it back. It was written by Mike Masser and Jerry Goffin, who mm. is the songwriter and husband of Carol King. And they've written many hits together, right? So we thought, well, this is it. And so, uh, but they heard the song and they said, nah, this, we don't think this is good for you. So they passed on it. But then about maybe a year later, all of a sudden they thought, oh, this song is great. And it was, do you know where you're going? Oh my. <laughs> Which became the theme song for Mahogany. I really love that. Um, that's 
part of what I'm here for is to learn about the artists and I love hearing their backgrounds, how they got started, uh, just their whole history. It's amazing. We did a show in London one time and uh, the whole audience, we got to the third song and the audience just rushed the stage. We couldn't even finish. So we had our bus outside. So my road man said, get on the bus, get on the bus. So we rode the bus. I said, oh man, that's quite an experience. When we got to the hotel, those people was at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then the, the uh, hotel manager had to turn the fire alarm on to get everybody out. And uh, so, I mean, my, my fantasy, I, I've lived it and I'm fine now. I was also in the Navy for four years. After I got out of the Navy, I said I would never, ever get on a ship again in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is the first time that I've walked on a ship. And I've enjoyed myself enjoying them. They thought we were giving a show, but they were giving a show. And I love yeah. that. The Q&As are fantastic and get to know them now versus what they were like in the 70s. One of the nice things about working at Studio was, by the way, if you want to sound cool, never call it Studio oh. 54. You have to call it Studio. Then they, they know you're like an insider. Ah. But uh, that's just a little behind the scenes. Why didn't you stuff. tell me this when we were backstage? Oh, right. Sorry. I'm, my bad. Okay. It was one of the best gigs ever. Of course, it's the DJ's, you know. It's a dream job for any DJ to work there. And uh, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you it was like New Year's Eve every night of the week. It was pandemonium inside. It was, it was so much fun. I opened up my own record company. First album I ever made went gold. Had a single from that album, also went gold, Blue Magic Sideshow. So I tell everybody I start at the top and I worked my way down. <laughs> <laughs> the time period was wonderful for music from Philadelphia. The sound of Philadelphia was very dominant on radio, dominant in the clubs. The All Access Pass is awesome. Unlike the show where we're performing and we're basically singing the songs, All Access Pass gives us a chance to interact uh, with the fans, with the audience, and there are questions that they have. There are things they want to know. There are things they want to say to us. So All Access Pass gives us a chance to get deep uh, with those who love us. The last time we played was the uh, beginning of, uh, of COVID. Yeah. And uh, to see everybody back and everybody's having a great time, you know. I think I said something last night about, uh, I say it all the time, hey, 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 what you got to say? Will COVID go away? Because <laughs> we want to play. And we want to see those happy faces again around the world. When you have a crowd that shows up and knows every lyric to every song and is dancing and jamming and having a good time. Well, that scares me. <laughs> because if I forget a word, yeah, they... exactly. <laughs> they know you screwed up in that play. Yeah. Their lips move different than mine. I just, I just effed up. <laughs> For those of you who have seen The Spinners before and you have enjoyed our shows in the past, uh, if you haven't seen CJ, then you haven't seen the next level of The Spinners, baby. Oh, and our, our, our newest lead pressure. singer is going to bring it to y'all. He's, he's yeah. And you'll even hear lyrics pressure. you've never heard before. And, and you're so going to hear lyrics you've you never know. heard before. Going Tell them, Jason. <laughs> Both shows. It'll be all new songs. We step off the plane and it was total chaos. <laughs> My Michael uh, had a scarf on, and some fans were pulling it this way and the others that way. <laughs> they didn't realize it was really choking him. They didn't realize it. They were so yeah. excited. And uh, they made it into the car, but they forgot me. <laughs> and uh, we said, Where's Tito? Where's Tito? Well, the All Access Passes are kind of intimate because you do meet them in a smaller group and you can actually see them, hear parts of their lives and kind of get to know them. You know, I think it's a fabulous way to see them. And sometimes we're even lucky enough to bump into them around the ship. You are cruising with the entertainers. So you ride the elevators with them and can talk to them and you sit in the same restaurants as them and they're right next to you. Very 
very interactive with the audience. They connected There's with us. Right There's one the right now. Music. They connected. Hello. Oh, oh, I love you so much. Thank you for coming they, out. Yes, <laughs> I love it. Look, they connect with the audience. We felt every vibe that they produced. And, uh, girl, I know you better She looks <laughs> going every day. I never really look before. But now you take my breath away. Love it. Thank you. Well, we have had pictures taken with um, Cool from Cool and the Gang and Denny Terrio. Denny Terrio. So it was cool. Great to see everybody. I've run into so many artists, uh, I can't even remember them all. But at eating, uh, at, the, uh, at the gym, at the spa. Yes. Yeah. yeah, having coffee, just walking by and, and saying hello, it's, it's just incredible. The theme nights and parties took us back to the era of the greatest dance music ever. And I gotta say, you really brought the looks. We definitely transformed for a week. We are dressed in nothing but 70s outfits. Yeah. And uh, we are in the 70s on the ultimate disco cruise. I've been on many cruises, and this far exceeds anything I've ever been on. Everyone is lovable, friendly. You dance through the halls. It's fabulous. There's so much that brings us back. Um, it's not just the fabulous entertainment. It's not just um, all of the people that we meet. It's not all of the costumes. It's everything combined. There's a lot of like-minded people on here. Everyone is here to just have a good time and let loose, and it's like a fantasy. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Before I came on the cruise, I knew there was gonna be lessons with Denny Terrio when I told my friends. I would not be missing one dance lesson with Denny Terrio. And so one, there I was two, three, doing the line dance, you know? And it was a line dance. Then they said, oh, we have a little bit of a twist. You need to pick a partner. And I beeline for Denny because that's the whole point, right? To dance with Denny. And so that's what I did. On a scale of like one to 10, it was a 150,000 billion infinity. <laughs> and of course, who could forget the hottest nightclub at sea? Studio 55. Don't blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on the good times. Don't blame it on the boogie. Don't blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on the good times. Don't blame it on the boogie. I was at the original Studio 54. I was reminiscing and almost like teary eyed saying, this is so reminiscent of what I remember from back when. What Studio 55 is, 
It's like a remake of the Studio 54 nightclub with all the people, with all the energy, with all the music. Can you say party? bring back memories of my early 20s and middle 20s. I was just a dancing fool, and now I'm an old fool. <laughs> this is the best, because apparently this is where I was conceived, is Studio 54. <laughs> to go to Studio 54. So for me, this is just amazing to be here. And yeah, it seems like it's just like a family affair. Welcome to the Bob Pancetto Dance Party Finale. All got down and danced until dawn every single night. You rocked the boat with those signature dance moves, and some of you even made it into the ultimate disco dance off with Denny Terry. If you think it's couple number five, go crazy! Yeah. A huge congratulations to Randy and Donna, our ultimate guest We just won the ultimate disco dance cruise dance contest, and we were doing uh, New York style hustle dancing. And you saw it in its pure form. We took the party to the beautiful port of Cozumel and Costa Maya. With all of this that you have going on, with the food and the entertainment and everything, you also get to stop in some of the most amazing places. We're in Cozumel, Mexico now. We're going to be going to Costa Maya next. Well, it's great to get off the boat now, just to stretch your legs, just to relax, and then get back on the ship and get ready to party again. This is my first time here in Costa Maya, so I want to uh, walk around and see everything that I can on the time that I do have here. I've never seen coral reefs before, so I'm really anxious to see that, the glorious colors and all the tropical fish. It'll be fantastic. This was the reunion we all needed five days of non-stop partying with phenomenal people and all of that wonderful music that brought us all together. The Ultimate Disco Cruise has been incredible. It has reached beyond my expectations. There's nothing like this disco cruise. The, the, I, I don't think I could ever go on a regular cruise again. It's right up there 
with a, one of those events in your life that you never forget. This is an absolute party for five days on the sea with these artists that you can't see this close and be able to interact with this much. This is my third year returning is, back to the Disco Cruise. And this is my first, and it's been great. If you think about it, on the Ultimate Disco Cruise, all of the concerts that you would pay for separately, and all of the food and traveling you would have to do, and then you come to one place, and you get multiple concerts, food is amazing. You can't get that anywhere in the world. When you consider what an opportunity that is to see so many great shows and be so up close and personal, it, it really is a value when you put it all together. Ultimate Disco Cruise 2023, that's the place to be. We're going to make it funky again and see you soon. We love the Ultimate Disco Cruise. And the fun doesn't stop here. We cannot wait to do it again next year. Our 2023 cruise is going to be even bigger and better than ever. Can you feel it? I've cruised for many, many, many years, all around the world, actually. And this was so enjoyable. We'll be back again. Definitely, I'll be here next year. We are coming back, honey. This is our third disco cruise, and we'll be back next year. It's just a place to be, man. That's all I can say. We'll see you next year at the Ultimate Disco Cruise. Hi, this is Evelyn Champagne King. I'm going to be hanging out with you again next year. Ultimate Disco Cruise 2023. We love the Ultimate Disco Cruise. They love disco. This is the place to be. They call it a cruise, but it's a major party. Come join the party as we celebrate the greatest dance music ever on the Ultimate Disco Cruise 2023. This is one of those cruises where there's never a dull moment. This is the big sing-along. You'll see the hottest acts light up the ship day and night with live performances by Cool and the Gang, Billy Ocean, Taylor Dane, Sister Sledge featuring Kathy Sledge, Tavares, Norma Jean Wright and Lucy Martin, formerly of Chic, Evelyn Champagne King, Heat Wave, The Tramps featuring Earl Young, Al McKay All-Stars, CNC Music Factory, Radio, and many more surprises. 
It's six days, five nights, over 40 shows. It is amazing. This cruise is high energy. And the superstars that are coming out here, the engagement that they have with the guests is just simply phenomenal. One of the nicest things about the Ultimate Disco Cruise is that these musicians are on board with you. Sailing from Miami February 25th to March 2nd, 2023 on the beautifully appointed Celebrity Summit and making sunny ports of call in Cozumel and Key West. This has been the number one best cruise I've ever taken. Guess what? We're coming back next year. It was so much fun. We will be back next year and the next year and the next year. Ultimate Disco Cruise, baby. I'm here. Don't miss the boat. Pack your dancing shoes and get ready to get down on the Ultimate Disco Cruise 2023.